Hello everyone, welcome back to Varalakshmi's Physics Classes. In this video, I am going to explain about Law of Science. For this, we are considering a parallelogram which is having a two vectors which are kept at an angle of theta. So, let it be this point is O, P, Q, S and N. So, I have already explained these values in a parallelogram law of vector addition if you haven't seen once watch that video and then uh, you just watch this video otherwise you cannot understand so this is b bar sin theta these values I have already explained in that video very clearly so this is p sin theta and now we are drawing a perpendicular This is a perpendicular. Let this point is M. Okay. And now this angle is alpha. So here this angle is theta. So here also the angle is theta. Now from triangle OSN, OSN sin alpha is equal to sin alpha sin theta is equal to we know that from trigonometry opposite side by hypotenuse so sin alpha is equal to here opposite side is sn hypotenuse is os so sin alpha is equal to sn is b bar sin theta os is resultant vector r so from this r sin alpha is equal to b bar sin theta that implies r bar upon sin theta which is equal to p by sin alpha let it be equation number one so now from triangle pms Look at this PMS. So if the angle is let it be beta at the point S. So we can write it as find sin beta. Sin beta is equal to we know that opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin beta is equal to opposite side is PM and hypotenuse is so which implies pm is equal to sin beta b bar into sin beta let it be equation number 2 so from triangle omp look at this omp sin alpha is equal to opposite side is pm and hypotenuse is a hypotenuse is a so from this sin alpha is equal to so here sorry a sin alpha equal to pm that implies we can write it as pm is equal to a sin alpha let it be equation number 3 so from equation number 2 and 3 Look at this equation number 2 and this is equation number 3. LHS is equal so we can equate RHS. So B sin beta is equal to A sin alpha. So from this we can write it as A by sin beta is equal to B by sin alpha let it be equation number 4 so now from equation number 1 and 4 it is clear that r bar by sin theta is equal to sorry a by sin beta is equal to b by sin alpha so this is called law of sines 
I hope this is clear to you. Please like the video. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching this video.